Hi guys, so today we are off to Space Kennedy Centre. Lee's and Justin off to some sort of wildlife park. I'm sure they'll video some stuff. So yeah, and I think we're going to have dinner or something at Coco Beach after. So let's go.
15 minutes, this guy has gone higher than I've ever gone, faster than I've ever gone. He's certainly made a lot more noise doing it than I ever had. And when I listened to that, I just, for some reason, decided that that's what I wanted to do.
at the Heroes and Legends show. I know people probably think I'm a wimp, but I just don't like things like that. It makes me feel dizzy. There was a big screen, so it did make you feel like the whole room was kind of moving. It's curved as well. Rocket Garden, they've just been showing you around. Here's a fun little fact the music video for Rhythm as a Dance was shot in the Rocket Garden right here. So, yeah, pretty cool fact for you today. These things here are showing you where these things are in space right at this moment. You can see them keep moving. So Mars Odyssey is like that way. It's pretty cool. Curiosity Rover. Corot 7B. Test.
head now you go to the Atlantis exhibition it's one of my favorite things to do even though I've seen it like three or four times it never gets old it's really good so if you come here make sure you definitely do that it's really really good Atlantis in the process of being repainted. See they've kind of done the left hand side already, it's looking much better. Right hand side's in the process. The adventure has just begun. Even though we've seen this um, Atlantis thing so many times, it never gets old. No, it's always good. It's so nice. I'd love it when they reveal it at the end. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
from three for a time. Well, I'm guessing that's where they used to put all the stuff to take up to the space station. Pretty big. What's this over here? Some space food. That doesn't look like the most appetising thing ever. Chicken breast. Pretty cool. Some information about the cargo bay. How many times have you seen it now, Sam? Four times? Um, no, let's count. Oh, it's good though, isn't it? 13, 15, 17, 17 and 22. Time. Yeah, that was four. It's really good and very educational. Dodge that bullet. <laughs> OMG. Yeah, Sam, I think we've got to go. <laughs> Talk about ruining your uh, experience. The engines are massive. What Polly saying to that? Wow. Engine. It's pretty amazing. Engine. Through. Just makes everything red. Red. Your eyes go funny. Look at one of those photos of 
This is how astronauts go to the toilet. Take a seat, use the camera. Aim is very important. A bad angle of approach could leave you with a mess and a station full of upset astronauts. Parting ways, minor coaxing. Sounds lovely. <laughs> You sit there, you get to look at a picture of your bum. I'm good, thanks. I don't think I could use one of them toilets. That's picture. Example, one of the treadmills. Some exercise. That shows me how much for shield. How astronauts eat Scrub. strapped to the side, stop them floating away. Have a look at the gift shop and get through here. No, because mum and dad will be done soon. Forever remember section. Dave's going to show you around now.
just they do have some Falcon, um, SpaceX stuff. Falcon on hat. Do they have the t-shirts? Put it in the grey. These um which we show the lounge behind my hands. Friendship necklace. I'll give one each. It's really nice. They change colour. They've got this bracelet. I wonder how small that is. I'm gonna have to come in here at the end. Doesn't have a chance to come back. Yeah, I've got the big one, so I just think I've put it in my bag. Are we in what time to suppose? I don't know what time the shop shuts. I just want to go there. Sure. Nice, really. nice stuff in there. Yeah. Is that I'm going in? I don't know where the opening times are. So guys, I hope you just enjoyed the uh, video of our boat ride. That was really good. Uh, about 20 minutes or so, a little boat ride around the swamp. Uh, quite a nice experience. Check this little guy over here. It's a puma, apparently. Absolute beautiful animal, look. Looks like he's seen Polly and he wants his lunch. Polly, look at that kitty cat. Polly, say, come here, kitty cat. I mean, I wouldn't want to be chased by him, would you? He's gone. I don't really know why I expect to leave him. There he is. <laughs> there she is. Okay. Where is it? Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Gone. Gone. It's Sydney, look. It's Wilson. So guys, if you want to experience a bit of uh, wildlife here in Florida, come down to this place. It's, it's not bad at all. It's, uh, you know, it's like $24 or something to get in. Um, there's not a huge amount to do here. Probably two, three hours and you'll be done. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Something different. It's, uh, 
completely different to the theme park experience, isn't it? What do you think of it, Lisa? Yeah, it really good. It's nice. Really so. I think, uh, yeah, we, we there's probably only like three or four families here at the moment, so I think this place desperately needs um, business and visitors. So head down, support them. I guess all the money goes to support these beautiful animals. So, so yeah, I'd recommend us. Um, it's quite close to Nasser as well, about 20, 20 miles or so, so you're heading that way anyway. Stop here on the way, way there or way home or, or another day even. Here comes Polly. Polly, what, do, what have you seen so far? I have absolutely no idea to be fair. Can you see the crocodile, Polly? Can you see the crocodile? So guys over in that cage over there, apparently there's a Nile crocodile, I haven't spotted them yet. Uh, a Nile crocodile I believe has a, has a bit of a, ah oh, shit, here he is. Christ, I expected there to be a bit more safety in place, but look at him. Beautiful animal. And that looks like an alligator to me, so I'm not really sure if that is a crocodile or not. I thought I know. Yeah, I thought a Nile crocodile had a sharper snout. That definitely looks like, that's definitely an alligator. Being this close, such a deadly species of animal does frighten me quite a bit. I mean, all we have is a bit of, I mean, look at this, not even wire. I don't know if he's supposed to be there or not. Because I thought they'd be down there. No? Dad? <laughs> I'm good, cheers. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody? I don't get me wrong, I like rabbits. Ready, look, They're ready, cool. look. I like, but... Yeah. Polly. Yeah. <laughs> you can pet it, Holly. Pet it. Yeah. <laughs> it's <in a> bite. <laughs> Holly. 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 Look over here. <laughs> he talks to you like, whoa, wait, they make noise? No, he doesn't like that. <laughs> well, he doesn't mind it, but if I do it, it's like uh, a grooming thing. Uh, and yeah, for, for birds, mm. when you're grooming where he can't reach, he yeah. should groom where you can't reach. Oh, right, right, okay. And then he gets excited, yeah. like your cat at home, like. <laughs> Just now, Polly. Yeah. She wants a dummy. Gosh. You're getting hot, sweetheart. It's very humid, isn't it? Have you been bitten yet? Snap, snap. Should have brought the phone, it would be an epic round here. I think my dad would like this phone. I think my dad would like this phone. Right guys, so we're just stopping at Wendy's. It's a proper American, none of the Fosh uh, uh, Orlando area ones, it's just like run down. Everything's a bit dodgy around here. I can't see what they've got. Hopefully they've got decent food hygiene at least, but... Um, right, you can get Baconator fries, they look quite good. I can't see what they've got. Okay. Large. A Diet Coke? 
Yeah, please enlarge, please. Enlarge the cup. Uh, and then if we can please get a spicy chicken. Uh, is that a meal or just a sandwich? As a, as a meal, please. Is that small, medium or large? Uh, in large, please. With to drink? Uh, yeah, with a Coke. A Coke? Regular Coke. Do you want bacon, or fries or normal fries? Who's that? What have you got? What's his name? Aww. Oh, do you love your little crocodile? Is that a crocodile? Oh. You're tired. We're going to go see the manatees now. It's very hot here. It seems to get really hot. Mm. Hot beside the car. We're going to go see the manatees. There's a big thing. It looks like a seal, I think. Let's go see them then. So we've just pulled up to the Manatee Wildlife Park, which is quite close to Cocoa Beach, actually. Um, it's supposed to be this beautiful nature park, so I'm going to take a walk around. I'm getting quite a good impression from the car park already, as you can see over here. It's looking quite nice, uh, you know, nice parklands. I've seen quite a few squirrels already. Apparently, you see loads of manatees here, so. Looking forward to that one. Let us know what you guys think. Have you been here before? Uh, and if so, do you see any manatees? Ready to go. We decided we're just going to put the push chair back in the car because she's just woken up from a nap. She's not going to need another one for a while. And when Polly sees wildlife, she goes crazy. Do you like manatees, Polly? Are you looking forward to seeing the manatees? Are you looking forward to seeing the manatees? Polly, can you see the squirrel? She's only just she's only just woken up from her nap, so she's a bit quiet still. Lisa's gonna get the uh, push chair loaded in the car. And uh, off we're gonna go. Are you ready, Polly? Are you ready? Now we have to keep this little beast on her reins because otherwise she just legs it, runs off, and in no time she'll be gone. I think we got up there. Polly, can you see the birds? Look. There's just literally birds everywhere. Beautiful animals, aren't they? I mean, these things are all over Florida, but. Just chilling with a squirrel. Polly, let's go find the manatees then. Come on. Are you looking forward to seeing the manatees, Lisa? Yeah. I've never seen them before. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know what a manatee is. I just heard about this place on Google. Um, I mean, it looks, they look quite impressive beasts, but I know nothing about them. So I'll do a bit of research while we're walking about. <clears throat> Here's the rules. Keep your dogs in the lead. No littering, all the normal stuff. And take Polly, Lisa. Come on then. They got um, free dog poop bags. Quite Come handy. Inside, Polly. Lovely park. Lovely. Half a mile walk. Got it. Got it. Got it. Polly. Up here, look. Polly's still learning to say turtle, so. But you can say tortoise. So. Whether it's a turtle or a tortoise, everything's a turtle. Everything's a tortoise to her. Tortoise. Tortoise. We all know it's a turtle. We all know it's a turtle, but we'll uh, keep keep working with her on it. Holly, did you see a lizard? <gasps> wow, look! Did you see it? Polly, is it Polly? Did you see it? What, what is, is it? it? What, what have you seen? seen? <laughs> what have you seen? This is it. Lizard. <laughs> well lizard. done! Lizard. Yeah. <laughs> Hello lizard! Oh lizard! Aww. Bless her. You love your little lizard. one. Oh, lizard. lizard! Yeah! 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 Lizard! 
Tiny little lizards, they're everywhere here, aren't they? They're so me. This place is beautiful. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. Polly, look, they're over there. I've just seen one. Can you see it? I can see it. Right guys, you will not believe it. I've just spotted a manatee. I didn't realise it was going to be this easy to spot them. So, he's just under here. We'll see if he surfaces. It doesn't look like he's coming up, or she. Polly spotted the park. Polly, what we'll do is we'll go to the park after we've spotted the manatees. How about that? Hmm? Let's go find a manatee first. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on to the side. Well done. Have a go. Oh, sad. Oh, sad. Well, there's lots of other people in the park at the moment. It says this place is more like an exercising place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's pretty though. It's like, it's like a half an hour walk, so you can like jog on. Get a selfie over the water. Polly, see the squirrel? Squirrels. I see the squirrels, don't you, darling? I'm not seeing any manatees though. Not seeing them yet. Guess you're staying nearby. It's probably a nice place to like walk around on that. Should we see if we can spot any manatees? I can't see anything. There's something moving there in the bush. In the distance. Right guys, so the manatee park is done. Uh, probably only here about 15 minutes, but it's not an awful lot to do here to be honest. It's, uh, it's a really nice place, but yeah, it's not a lot. There's about half a mile walk around the park, which is a beautiful park, don't get me wrong. Um, but I wouldn't drive too far to visit it and I haven't seen any manatees so yeah um, as you can see it's not the easiest to see manatees unless you bring a decent pair of binoculars there's, there's big things moving around in there I have no idea what it is could be a fish a dolphin could be a manatee um, but yeah they're not surfacing that that much so so yeah guys that sums up the Manatee Wildlife Park. Worth a visit if you're heading to Cocoa Beach or something like that. It's, uh, it's very close, um, but I wouldn't drive too far to get here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Polly, we've got to go get in the car. Holly, we gotta go see the crocodiles. Come on. Where's he gone? Look here, look. There he is. Look. Say hello, squirrel. Look. Polly, look. Squirrel. What is it? So Bubba to the squirrel, we better go now. I'm now. <laughs> Polly, look. There's a big doggy like Maggie, look. So guys, I've uh, just been to the Manatee Park now, finished. Back in the car. Um, and yeah. 
we are now going to head to Banana Creek, which is next door. I think there's a little bit of a wildlife thing going on there. A quick look around, and then we're going to go fetch the others from NASA. They're at the Kennedy Space Center. We we're going to go, but Polly isn't a fan of space just yet. She's too young, so she um, likes animals and things like that, which is why we took her to see animals today. So yeah, check in soon. Bye. We just finished the spot of shopping. Now we've got the food and we've got some foods in there. We're now getting the bus over to the Saturn B Centre to look at the next section. I think we're going to get some lunch over there. Just getting on the bus now. The big tower that is for the starship. I don't know if they have some more to go on that tower or not, but uh, there'll be lots of starship from there coming up. We're gonna cross over the crawl away with 22 million pounds across the crawl away. The mobile launcher platform in there. High Bay Door 3, the other one. That is where Artemis is on that sitting on that mobile launcher platform. Automats is scheduled right now to launch on the 14th. They probably carry it out to the launch pad, proud of that. Uh, but it's in there. Oh. You two launch control, yeah, full launch control windows and all. You can see the dread on the crawlers. They, uh, just before the storm, we brought Artemis back off of 39B and put it in high bay door 3 that's still doing some fine tuning they got a chance to look and make sure everything is ready those solid rocket boosts that comes in from Utah they are on the rail they cover it the next one is not the next one is covered the next one is not until they get them all down here and they put them in their storage and when we get ready they'll just bring one over yep. Yep. the crawler project manager i'm standing in front of crawler transporter number two at the kennedy space center crawler transporter number two will be used for the sls program to take the launch vehicle back and forth to the pad we will begin by going underneath the mobile launcher we'll pick it up we'll take it over to the vab they'll then assemble the launch vehicle on top of the mobile launcher and then we'll come back to the VAB, we'll slide underneath it again. Located at the northern end of the Saturn V rocket, you can relive the experience of Neil Armstrong's historic landing and first steps on the moon. For the guests behind you, our presentation will begin shortly. All I want is a burger. Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> NASA's Apollo program, the greatest adventure mankind has ever undertaken. When I was a kid, I used to dream about flying through space. Every week on TV, I'd watch my heroes jump into their rocket ships and took to the stars. A full-scale dress rehearsal for the actual launch. Suddenly it happened. There was a fire in the gaps. Three men, whose lives had been in our hands, were lost. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high cost and hardships. When everything worked perfectly, the decision was made. The next mission would travel to the moon. It was mankind's destiny to leave the shores of our planet behind and strike out across the vast ocean of space. In the great span of our history, now is the time that we could. Now is the time that we would. We stood on the eve of the longest, most dangerous journey that any man had ever undertaken. And it would be taken by Frank Borman, James Lowell, and William Anders, the crew of Apollo 8. Through those doors, you'll find the firing room, launch control, 
just as it was on December 21st, 1968. Status quo in the case that all aspects are ready. The instrument for this ready spacecraft ready. Final check of the emergency detection system. That ready light also. First stage preparations are completed. All systems are okay. Okay. Lunch. I've got a cheeseburger, Dave's got a double cheeseburger, I've got chips and bacon coke. Cheese. I think mum and dad are just in there now, so we're going to tuck in because we are starving. It is three o'clock and we haven't eaten yet, so yummy. We've just finished up with our food, now we're just going to explore the Saturn B Centre. Here we've got a, what is it, a lunar module. I've seen this before, this is new. Gives you an Pretty idea of cool. what it would have been like on space. And here we've got the rocket. Run up to the moon.
Huh? I wonder where you've gone. Did a rocket launch to find him. Shops. I don't know where mum and dad's gone. I think he wanted his intro up here. <coughs> Have you seen that? I'm sure. Went into the Brightest Stuff store. Yet again, not a single Falcon 9 SpaceX t shirt in large. I'm never going to get one. Have they got them in any other sizes? They have. They have? In the other store. What size? Like XXL and XX4XL. Can't you get one and have it made smaller? I'm not sure. You can get them on the SpaceX website, but postage, <coughs> taxes, expensive. It's nice to finish here because it's quieter, but then you don't get Maybe much time. Warning on how long you've got left. And what you want to do is eat at the orbit for her, and then come over here just to look at stuff. I just think they should give you like a half an hour warning to when it's going to shut. Yeah. It's going to leave without us when we're stuck here. You we'll have to watch all the rocket launches. So we just got back from Saturn 5, is it Saturn 5, Saturn V Centre? Yeah. And we've got about half an hour left until it shuts, the Space Kennedy Centre. Just gonna have a little look at the memorial garden before you go, so that's always nice to see. And then I think Lisa and Justin are gonna drop by and pick us up in about half an hour. Holly's got a little alligator, so. She's got a new space monkey, a little miniature shuttle. She's got some new toys today, so. Lots, lots of new toys. She's getting spoiled this holiday, but she's worth it. I think we're up to 16 teddies so far. Yeah, I think she's got 16 teddies so far on this holiday. She's worth every penny.
Lisa and Justin just picked us up from the Space Canada Centre. Now we're in the car heading to Cocoa Beach to get some dinner. I'm not that hungry, so I'll probably just get a drink or something. So yeah, we're off to Cocoa Beach. Coco Beach Pier, we're gonna have a little bit of dinner. I'm still full. And I've only had hot dogs, so I'm ready to eat. So you're having something else? Yeah. Dave, are you eating? I'm always ready. You're gonna have something else? Yeah. <laughs> you had what, half of my chips? Dave's always ready for food. <coughs> Dave's and Justin always ready for food. <laughs> I'm gonna feel bad if I'm the only one not eating. What she am I gonna say? No, I don't think like, Chase is oh, 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 really. <laughs> Chase, because you're not having much, are you? No. Because she couldn't see anything she likes, so she ate. Well, it's a bit what I was like. I might just have dessert or just have a drink or something. Yeah, well, they yeah, do desserts here for so when you're not very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, they do dessert to you when you're not very hungry, do they? Put your shoes on. Say gator. Say gator. Is it like a lemon meringue or something? Say gator. Well, let's put your shoe in. Polly's gator. Look at him. Is it a crocodile or a gator? What is it, Polly? It's an It's a gator. The one that gator. I saw a squash turkey on the road here, so really, oh, yeah, a big old turkey had been run over. Oh, it's a good turkey. So yeah, we're at Coco Beach and we're heading on to the pier. Look, Polly, look. Put your finger, glint by your finger. <laughs> 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 yeah, a crocodile. It's an alligator, actually. <laughs> what have you got? Maggie will like that, Polly. Yeah, I think it will be all right. Maggie will like that. Oh, dear. Oh, you just watch your head. Oh, you give him the kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. Is he posh? <laughs> Polly! <laughs> Polly having coconut shrimp for dinner? at all. 